Educational Information and Communication Technology presents Educational Satellite Television Programs. Hello, teacher. Hello, students. Welcome to our lesson on the origins of life. In our last lesson, we learned about the definition of evolution and we talked about two theories on the origin of life, special creationism and spontaneous generation. In today's lesson, we will continue talking about more theories on the origin of life, focusing on the eternity of life, cosmozoan theory, and biochemical theory. We have a lot to cover today, students. So, let us get started. Explaining the origins of life can be challenging because there are a few different theories that state how the world and humans might have been created. We will continue to look at all the theories to try to have a broad understanding of the different schools of thought on this subject. Let us look at the eternity of life theory. The eternity of life theory states that there is no beginning and no end to life on earth. Those who believe in this theory think that life is a natural property of the universe, and they believe that life and the universe have always existed. When this theory was popular, even scientists like Albert Einstein thought that the world was unchanging. They reasoned that if life on an unchanging Earth was found, it must have always been there. The next theory is the Cosmozoan theory. It states that life on Earth began on another planet and suggests that bacteria spores were transported to Earth from somewhere else in the universe by a meteor or comet. These bacteria spores acted like seeds of life falling on the Earth and beginning the evolutionary process. This theory does not necessarily state a theory on the origin of life itself, but instead tries to explain that life on Earth is linked to life from another universe. 
The cosmozoan theory is linked to the eternity of life theory because it states that life in the universe has always existed. Students, let us review what we have just learned. For our first activity, explain the difference between the eternity of life theory and the cosmozoan theory. Write your answer on a sheet of notebook paper. Students, let's get ready. Begin. Time's up. Let's get back to our lesson. Welcome back, students. Were you able to explain the difference? If you answered that the eternity of life theory states that life on Earth has always existed, and the cosmozoan theory states that life on Earth came from elsewhere in the universe, then you answered correctly. Good job! Let us move on to the final part of the lesson, the theory of biochemical evolution. Today, biochemical theory is the most accepted scientific theory on the origins of life. 
It is the study of how life arose from non-living matter through natural processes and the way life on Earth came to be. It states that the basic units of life were formed as a result of reactions between gases such as water vapor, hydrogen, carbon dioxide, ammonia, and methane in the Earth's early atmosphere. The reactions between the gases needed energy in the form of lightning or ultraviolet light. The molecules formed in the reaction between the gases and the light source are thought to be the first building blocks necessary for life. In the 1920s, two scientists, Alexander Oparin and John Haldane, each stated that the essential molecules for life could have been made under the conditions of the early atmosphere. The scientists were able to simulate the conditions of the early atmosphere in an experiment. They conducted chemical reactions similar to ones that took place several billion years ago and observed what happened. The scientists stated that these chemical reactions could produce the molecules that have been described as the units of life. Let's review what we have learned today, students. The biochemical theory on the origin of life states that a reaction between compounds occurred in the Earth's early atmosphere. The reactions needed a source of energy and several different compounds. What are the two sources of energy mentioned earlier? For our next activity, write down your answer on a sheet of notebook paper. Students, let's get ready. Begin.
Time's up! Let's get back to our lesson. Welcome back, students. If you answered that lightning and ultraviolet light are the two energy sources necessary for the reaction, then you are correct. Well done. This concludes our lesson for today. We learned about three theories on the origin of life. Eternity of life, cosmozoan theory, and biochemical theory. Until next lesson, thank you, students. Thank you, teacher.